be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scam. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed day. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed week. And I pray you had a beautiful and blessed weekend. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, keep you safe all days, always. And I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, Gemini. Let's begin. And anybody feeling any negative energy towards me or Gemini, may be returned to send a thousand fold. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. <clears throat> please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide you that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Gemini, Summer, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Gemini, you could be connecting to a Capricorn. Okay, mental conflict. Okay, so this must be the theme for air signs. <laughs> because Libra had this too. I don't know if the lighting is good, y'all. I kind of woke up late today, <laughs> so I have been, like, trying to <laughs> get the lighting right for recording, but it is what it is. But it's something going on with how people are either sending you mental attacks, they want to mess with your mental, they want to mess with your psyche, they want to throw off the direction that you feel like is best for you to go down at this time. So be mindful of who you are exchanging energy with, like, talking to about your thoughts, your plans, your ideas, whatever who you're letting pour into, talk talk to you, talk over your life, who are you letting, like, get, who are you getting advice from, okay, be mindful of this, because there's a lot of mental conflict going on here, this could even be, like, you being mentally overwhelmed and just needing to take a breath or a wake or, like, a chill moment, okay, literally, nonetheless, whatever this is, you will triumph and you will succeed over it, you will, okay, I cannot make it up, did not just say Capricorn energy and look what show yourself, the devil card. So you have somebody that is toxic that's in your energy that is trying to throw you some type of mental or spiritual attacks. Yeah, all it's doing is accelerating your emotion. And all it's doing is putting you more in your heart space or helping you heal your heart chakra, which is welcoming in divine love. I cannot make it up. You're about to rejoice and celebrate. Okay? Yeah, you're about to hit major peaks of achievement and success, especially with your foundation. You could be getting ready to move into a new home. You could be someone that builds homes. You could be getting ready to start like a nonprofit. I picked up on this a while ago, and I can't remember who it was for. But for someone here, you could be getting ready to, and I don't even want to say the like your full plan out because I don't know who's watching. But for someone here, you could be getting ready to like, you may be building homes or buying land or buying property, building duplexes or building like family homes, either like for a new investment property, like an Airbnb, or you could be doing it like literally for people in the community, like people that need shelter, families that need shelter. Okay, you could even be helping like children at this time. Like you could be someone who may work like in up north, they had they call the ACS down here. I think it's called CPS or something like that. You could work like with an agency or you could work in regards to protecting families or protecting children. And you could be someone that helps house families or house children or gets children housed. You may do something like this in regards to helping build or helping even, you could even be a counselor or a therapist where you help bring families together. Okay, confirmation, whatever this is that I'm picking up on, I picked up on it before a minute ago but it is it's coming back in the energy now it's something that you are doing it's a calling over your life gemini and it has to do with not only you welcoming in love opening your heart space but also being that beacon of love and light to others around you okay let's see let's continue on the number two could be significant i just got a notification <laughs> that's what i was looking at 44 could be significant i'm definitely speaking to someone who is chosen okay you part of the hundred and forty four thousand that's what i'm talking about you could be seeing 144. I just caught that yesterday. I put it on Instagram. I was driving and it was like 1444. So I was like 144 and then 444. You could be seeing like angel numbers. They could be all around you at this time. January, February, April, or August could be significant. 44 is here. 24, 42, 14, 41, 48, and 84. Any of these numbers could be significant to you at this time, Gemini. Okay, so let's continue moving forward. Hopefully the cards like don't fall. <laughs> Hoping that they don't. 
What else does Gemini need to know? Yeah, you're about to be someone that's of a fluent. Okay, because you are a healer. Like, God is using you to heal the masses, to heal the world. And whatever direction you go towards, you will have safe travel. Okay, literally. And this is because you have released what no longer aligns with you and your highest good. You let something go. This even could have been a friendship, an ex-friend, an ex-lover, somebody here that you you release. And then uh, the, the connection or that person's energy didn't align with you and where you were headed. Okay, literally. And this is what's giving you this lucky energy. It's also putting someone, that devil energy, whoever this may be, in their ego. <clears throat> Somebody's working out of pride because they thought that they had power over you or they see how powerful you are at this time. And it's because you give gratitude to God, to all that is, to all that will forever be, the Alpha and the Omega. Yeah, that's why you have nothing but protection over your life. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's why you have nothing but protection over you at this time. It's because you're listening and you're following divine guidance. And you also have firm boundaries up or this is what's needed at this time. You needing to de defend yourself, Gemini. Keep up those firm boundaries. Don't let nobody try to sway you or manipulate you or confuse you or none of that. Okay? None of that. <laughs> you are you are gods and you're heading in the right direction. Okay, but there's people that may see this or sense it and they're angry that they didn't listen to the call of God or they didn't they didn't take the opportunity or jump when, you know, the kettle was hot, whatever. <laughs> whatever the saying is. <laughs> they didn't jump. They didn't they didn't take the leap of faith. Yeah, you have your Pisces is in your energy right now. Anything else? What else do Gemini need to know <laughs> before we jump to the tile? Taurus is in your energy, so we're going to clarify this codependency. That's the second time we saw the devil card. So there could be a toxic Taurus that's in your energy or a Capricorn. What's what's this? What's up with this Pisces? Okay, yeah, speak your truth. So there's a Pisces that wants to come towards you to speak the truth because they want some type of new chapter. There could have been a completion with a Pisces. And now somebody sees that you are a messenger, you speak the truth, or somebody here is being called to come towards you and give you clarity, speak the truth to you, be honest with you. What's this Taurus about? What's going on with the Taurus? <clears throat> this Taurus could also have, there go Capricorn, <laughs> Capricorn in their birth chart. They could have Sag in their birth chart. Okay, Libra popped out. These are all people that are mirroring you, Spirit is saying. They're trying to mirror your energy. Sagittarius is here too. Okay, and it's because you have clear vision, clear direction of where you're going towards. So tell me, Spirit, like, okay, tell me anything else you can tell me about the Taurus. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups. Somebody here is, is seeing how you love yourself, but this is someone that wants to come in as new loves to you. What's the Ace of Cups about? This is also someone that focuses a lot on money instead of spirit. So be mindful of this. Yeah. And this is also an energy that may have listened to other people in regards to talking bad about you or trying to be in your business. Could even have been a Virgo that somebody was talking to that was making like putting fear in them and making them act a certain way towards you. What's going on with the Libra? Okay. This Libra is coming towards you also for a two of cups situation. So you are a lot of people that want to court you or see you as the one or want to be in love with you. This Taurus could be a new energy in your life or someone that you may have already known and they want to recommit to love. This Libra, you could be currently in a relationship with the Libra at this time, Gemini. Or there's a Libra that sees that they can have a very loving, kind, balanced, open, blessed connection with you. Okay, this is even someone that you could have let go of or sacrificed, or this Libra is realizing that they have to sacrifice things if they want a relationship with you. Okay, there's always a choice. Okay, what's up with the Capricorn? Okay, this Capricorn is trying to take a leap of faith towards you because they see that it will be successful. Something about how people are wanting to attract, to come towards you because they feel like it's money where you at. Okay, so it could be successful with the Capricorn. You could be taking a leap of faith with the Capricorn and it's meant to be very successful as well. This could also increase your money. This is also a Capricorn wanting to come toward you because they see that you could be in the public eye, very renowned, famous, a celebrity, very well known, an inspiration to others, or you're reaching certain peaks of achievement within your life and they want they want to shoot their shot, <laughs> the fool. And what's up with this Sagittarius? This is this could also be someone that has Virgo in their birth chart, okay? This is someone that you could be in a spiritual partnership with or you're meant to be. So this Sagittarius, and I'm picking up on different energies. So don't be like, oh, Mecca, I'm, listen, <laughs> you know how many people watch these videos? Thousands of people. So <laughs> I'm just, I'm channeling and I'm also putting out like, like different signs so I can clarify, so I can tell y'all who is who. Literally, you could be dealing with the Sag, that's cool. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, that's cool. You could have just been dealing with a Libra, that's cool. You're dealing with a Taurus, that ain't cool, okay? <laughs> that, that's the, mm -mm. 
he's about the money or she's about the money. Okay, this Libra that you could be with, this could be a very like blessed connection that you could be getting ready to be in. Either you could be getting ready to be with a Libra or a Sag or a Capricorn. Tell me anything else you could tell me about this Capricorn. Acceptance. This is someone that will accept you and you'll have a happy home with them. So there's three signs out here that Spirit is saying, you know, is good. These could even be people that have this in their signs. Like they could be a, a Cancer and they could have Capricorn as a moon sign, something like that. Okay, but this is God guiding you to the right connection. And it's going to be different for everyone. Just because you are a Gemini don't mean you're supposed to end up with an Aries, you know, something like that. Or just because you're a Gemini doesn't mean you're supposed to be with it. Everyone has a different life path. Everyone has a different soul. Everyone has a different journey. But nonetheless, God is guiding you towards the Ten of Cups. All you have to do is trust the direction that you are going towards and know who you need to cut off. And it's going to be different for everybody. But somebody in your energy, you already know who this person is. They want to cause a tower. Okay? <laughs> I don't know who this is, but they want to call the tower to you, Gemini. Let's continue on. What else does Gemini need to know? Me, a Gemini. A Virgo is in your energy. This is someone that, like, they realize you don't have strong conviction towards them anymore, or they didn't have some type of strong conviction in regards to you. And this could have been someone that you guys had a deep connection. They may not have, you know, acted on the deep connection. Yeah, somebody here, contemplation came out in the reverse. It wasn't even a thought. It didn't even really get to the thinking process, okay? Something about how you triumph or you have you will overcome this. Yeah, better days are coming. So whatever this was with this Virgo energy, you're going to be moving on, Gemini. You will fall in love. You will with the proper planet. So don't rush into being with somebody or don't rush or go against, like, your morals, your standards, okay? Because you already learned certain lessons. And it's like God is putting people in your life to see are you going to make the right choice, who you going to choose? Are you going to choose based off of superficiality, their job, how they look, superficial things that could fade or could be taken? Or are you going to choose somebody off of their character, their heart space, their integrity, the way that they love, how they care, their kindness, their empathy, their, you know, who they are behind closed doors? Spirit is testing you in regards to this. But nonetheless, you're going towards rags to riches. Yeah, there could be creative blocks at this time or somebody here. What's creativity about? Somebody here is lacking creativity. Yeah, these are, okay, whoever this is, is gossiping about you. Okay. <laughs> they don't have no type of imagination, no type of creative spark at all. All they know how to do is run their mouth and gossip and talk shit, talk cash shit. This is somebody that's mad because they don't want an ending to take place with you. Okay. The ending in the reverse, somebody refuses to change. They refuse to go through a rebirth or an awakening and they refuse to like close out a cycle with you. They refuse to take responsibility or they need to. Whoever this is, this could be a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Just someone that doesn't want an ending with you. It could be any sign with elements being eliminated. It could be any sign that just does not want you to close out a cycle with them. And it's because they know that you're about to level up and you're meant to have an abundant new beginning. Virgo and Sagittarius is here again, y'all. These signs could be significant to you. They could be in your birth chart. You could be connecting to one. Okay, we already at 13 minutes. Good news is coming for you, Gemini. <laughs> Good news is coming in. Gemini Energy Tupac at the bottom of the deck. Good news is coming towards you, Gemini. What else, Gemini, needs to know? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Okay, yeah, there's someone that's looked at you as young at heart, and they're about to come in with some type of romantic gesture towards you. This is someone that you're meant to meet at this time. It's a star-crossed love, okay? And there is someone that's heartbroken over you. It could be a Leo. Someone here could have thought that they were going to be in a power couple dynamic with you or they were going to, you know, end up with you. You also have an Aquarius that's very, that feels sensitive in regards to you or that wants to tap into their more sensitive side. Somebody here is going to be trying to be more vulnerable with you as well. Yeah, you also have here, I just said vulnerability. Someone wants to be more vulnerable with you or you're going to be able to be vulnerable with this star cross love spirits. Like be mindful of who you open up to. Okay, Scorpio is here too. You have here, someone could have a Scorpio best friend, or there's somebody here, you, you, best friend is here too. What's this best friend about? Could be a Virgo. Somebody here was listening to their, their friend about choosing a, a prototype, a fake, a phony, a fraud, a counterfeit individual. You could have a Virgo or Scorpio best friend, and this person could be trying to lead you in the wrong direction, okay? Or somebody here could be listening to their best friend and their best friend is trying to put them with a karmic, somebody who's a fraud, not the real thing. Pisces is also here with empathy. So there could be a Pisces that wants empathy from you. What's this Virgo and best friend about? Oh, yeah, this is someone that's playing in your face and playing games. Whoever this Virgo is could even be a Sagittarius. They could have this in their birth chart. 
Okay, it has them in deep thought, but whoever this is, they want to play in your face and they want to play games and they want to guide you in the wrong direction because they could be in a loveless relationship or single or they may have missed, you know, the mark in regards to like taking action towards someone that was meant for them, whatever this is, or they didn't accept somebody who was meant for them in their life. Nonetheless, you have a breath of fresh air coming in because you are different. You are unique. You are rare. You are one of a kind. Okay, so be mindful of best friends, people trying to talk in your ear. This could have also been someone that was listening to a best friend in regards to you, and now they lost out. And now they're upset about it. But there's people that are really heartbroken and perturbed in regards to you and which direction you are going towards. Okay, it could be a Taurus even. Taurus or Taurus too. Deception. I cannot make it up. Don't trust that fucking Taurus. Don't you trust that. Don't you trust him or her. Okay? <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on with that energy, but they not to be trusted during this time period at all. Fuck. <laughs> Hell to the no. Somebody here, they got there. everything is not fine in that person's life or with the or with certain individuals. Okay, it's time to look towards the future. It's not that in the it's not. It's not, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Somebody here is is knowing that you're not thinking about the past anymore. You have moved on from the past and you want a solid relationship, a solid foundation. A solid connection, a solid partnership. You no longer invest in or wasting your time on things that don't grow or your, or things that you feel like your manifestations aren't going to come about. You're just like, all right, I'm moving. I'm going this way. The two of wands, I'm leaving something behind, okay, and I'm about to grow my wealth. The queen of pentacles, that's what I'm talking about, Gemini. Literally, you a wife or a husband, and that's why you get everything you want plus more coming towards you. You also know how to listen to your intuition, which is why Father God is giving you so many divine blessings. You got so many blessings of wealth, of happiness, of security, of stability, okay, of, of genuine, authentic energy that's coming towards you. And it's because of who you are and the energy that you are embodying. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Your, your money's about to increase. You could be getting a promotion, a raise. You could be buying a new home, beautifying your home, redecorating. You could be buying new clothes, new wardrobe energy. You could be treating yourself. You could be the type of person that you have leveled up your, your life to a place where you could go in the store and pick out whatever, okay? You could be a business owner or just have a high-level position in society. Nonetheless, happiness is yours. What, the, what is this Queen of Pentacles? Okay, the King of Cups in the reverse with the Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, there is somebody here that's passionate about coming towards you. It could be a fire sign or it could be a water sign. doesn't have to be. These are just the energies, though. But there is somebody who is noncommittal, a cheater, a liar, a manipulator, a con artist, a fraud in regards to love. Okay, this could even be someone who gives off pervert energy. I'm just being for real. The King of Cups in the reverse ain't no, nothing good. Somebody who has childhood wounds, childhood issues. They have lost out on a lot of money or you have realized somebody is a, is the the energy investing will make you lose. It's, it's a loss. It's a loss energy. It creates losses in your life with the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here has lost out on a lot of money, their security, their stability. I don't know what's going on with this King of Cups, but it's like, what? You could have committed to this person at one point in time. What's this King of Cups? This is this, yeah, the Ten of Swords. You've healed from this person, okay? You've healed from this energy. And this was bad news for them. Somebody here also could have been doing spell work on your emotions or on your feelings or how you love, your empathy, your kindness. Wow, with the Page of Pentacles, somebody here wanted to affect your stability, your home, or how you think. And God was like, you got me effed up. Gemini is protected. What you thought? Like, <laughs> so Gemini, you protected. Because somebody was playing dirty and all it did was push you to walk away and choose better, which is what's coming. The Eight of Cups, you already walked away from somebody. Because it's in the deck. You already left something behind and now it's like brighter days are on the horizon with the sun. This is healing. This is prosperity, abundance. This is a new beginning, a new start. This is fertility. This is the seeds that you are planting, growing, sprouting, creating abundance, like fruitful energy within your life. Sunflowers can be significant as well as roses. Okay, but I see you determined to walk, to walk away. And it's putting somebody in a state of sadness. Or you this even could have made you regretful having to choose this decision. Or to having to go in a new direction. But something is over. Like, spirit's like, yo, yo this is done. Like, <laughs> this is over. This is done. There's a completion here. You don't have to deal with this no more. It's over. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, or Leo. What's the Ace of Pentacles? Somebody here even could have made you lose out on a lot of money. Made you lose out on a big investment. The Ace of Cups in the reverse. This was, a, this was a fake love. False love, faulty love, karmic love, abusive love. Okay, and your intuition is telling you this, or you know exactly what I'm talking about. 
whatever this was, like somebody here, this man, this also could have been once you stopped investing or helping financially, that's when the love stopped. Like, but with the Ace of Cups in the reverse, this is unrequited love, a breakup, a lot of misunderstandings, arguing, cheating, betrayals. Oh man, like your intuition has not been lying to you at all. And it also told you somebody didn't have enough love to offer or they, it's like they, they wanted to do the bare minimum with love in regards to you. This is someone that is receiving a lot of bad news. It's a lot of discrepancies within their life in regards to their earthly matters, their responsibilities. This could be a fire sign or a water sign. What's the king of wands? Or this is what somebody had plans on doing to you. They full of drama. And this person is broke. Somebody can be very attractive. We go suave energy, male or female. They look good. They they might, they like to use their passion or their charisma or their drive to try to get things. Okay, but this person is extremely emotionally unavailable and closed off. What's the king of wands? So this could be multiple people in your life, a fire sign and a water sign, and this could be the same person. What's the king and queen of what's the king of wands and the king of cups? nothing but heartbreak energy that you need to block out of your life whoever these people are spirit is saying leave them alone this will cause you major pain major betrayal major heartbreak major sadness depression crying like it's a lot of tears here in this situation a lot of emotional trauma okay and spirit is like enough of this it's no more of it close it out the cycle is over with dealing with individuals that want to hurt you or use you for money or try to play like they care or just to get an investment no it's no more of that it's time there is a complete renewal in your energy and within your life gemini so congratulations with this star you're getting ready to hit some type of fame fortune good luck energy this is also healing from chaos healing from trauma healing from emotional abuse with the star. There's a renewal in your life. You could be waking up each day just feeling like you have a new renewal, a new pep in your day. Two and two could be significant. New York could be significant. Heavy Aquarius and Leo energy is here as well as Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Sagittarius is here. Leo is here. It's divine time and for you to have this favor, this fortune, this wish fulfillment. You have divine wishes coming in. Not only do you have the nine of cups, which is you feeling overly satisfied. It's God giving you your wish, but him amplifying it and adding sprinkles on top. You're not even knowing that you're going to get this blessing and God gifts it to you. Okay, you having more than enough. And the star is going to make you really believe God is real. Your faith is about to be restored in different ways. Because it seems like you were dealing with individuals that just saw you as a good person or as kind hearted as very like um, responsible, you could be very diligent with work, very focused on work, okay, or on family life, or on creating a happy home, harmony within the home, making sure that bills are paid up. You're also someone that's very lo like loyal and logical, and somebody here, people wanted to use and abuse you because of it. Queen of Pentacles, yeah, it's like now you're intimidated or you're scared or you may not trust with the Nine of Wands. What's this? What's the nine of wands? You may not trust certain situations or you may not, you could be antsy in regards to love because of things that happened in the past and spirits like just heal from that because you're about to have everything you want plus more. In the past, it could have been a very beautiful connection. You could have lived in a very lavish home with somebody or things may have worked out. It could have been a lot of blessings of, on overflow until it ran dry with the seven of pentacles. And so somebody stopped getting what they wanted with the three of wands. And then there was a lack of forward movement, a, a lack of positivity. Somebody here also could do tarot or they're getting a reading done or they got a reading done and they know that everything is not going to be fine for them. Everything is fine is in the reverse. And this is someone that could be wanting to talk to you with the page of cups. Listen to your intuition. Someone here also feels like you have hidden knowledge or you know certain things that you're just not telling them and they feel like connecting to you can help them get out of dodge as well. Confirmation, but you need to just say no with the four of cups. This is not someone that spirit wants in your energy at all. And it's like, Father God is not, not about to bring in this healing energy and blessing, okay? If you accept somebody that is wanting to hurt you, because this is the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles in the reverse. This is lack of stability, lack of love, lack of foundation, Lack of financial growth, lack of opportunities, like, ah, oh, man, like, there's, it's, it's no, it's just a no. It's a choice, though. Spirit is testing you with this wheel of fortune to see who you're going to collaborate with, who you're going to team up with, who you're going to take along your path, your journey with you. Okay, let's see, who else? Or what else? <laughs> 
What else is going on for Gemini? Someone is being set up or someone tried to set you up and it did not work. Okay, the divine stepped in to help you, Gemini. Gave me chills a little bit. Like <laughs> you have an unexpected call or message that's coming towards you as well. From F, first, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. Okay, you are an empath. You also have three year earth sign energy. There's an earth sign. What's what's up with the earth sign? Something could be happening on the weekend with this earth sign that you will overcome, or something happened over the weekend that you will overcome. Okay, yeah, you have your this is something this whoever this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is. It's trying to do sex magic on you. They want to sleep with you, hook up with you. Don't be too quick to react. This could be happening tomorrow for someone here on Thursday. Or this could have happened on a Thursday. The initial J could be significant, okay? Or this could be a Virgo as well that's trying to do this. So they could have Virgo in their birth chart. Whoever this earth sign is could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. For someone here, it is a Virgo, okay? Know that you are never alone. Okay, please know this. S is here as well. First, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. There's about to be a fated event that takes place. They want you to be patient. Certain things have to happen or transpire, and you have to pass certain tests in divine time before you're able to enter to your next chapter. So you could be like, yo, I want to do this. I want to get to this place, but you haven't passed a certain test that God needs you to pass. With this Wheel of Fortune, this is about fated events, things that are out of your control that are going to happen anyway. This is also good luck, destiny energy. Something is aligned with your destiny, fortune, favor, okay? This is also like a, a new chapter, a new door opening for you, but you got to pass some type of test. Yeah, this could be in the next 24 hours. I'm serious. <laughs> Leo energy is here too. Yeah, this could be new love that's coming towards you. It could be a Leo. Anything else that Gemini needs to know? The tables are turning. Somebody's ancestors are not around them at all. Somebody's ancestors don't are not around them. This person's also late on bills. They also could have sent you some type of magic and energy, and it was returned to send a time ten. It was returned. Okay, yeah, this is your ex. Okay, literally, stay away from them. Stay away from this person. Spirit is like, don't go towards them. Your angels and your ancestors, they pissed off about what's going on with this harlot, this whoremonger, this Jezebel spirit, this Pharisee spirit. Somebody here is full of deception, a snake. Snakes could be significant as well, okay? You have your emperor, Aries, Taurus, energy. Something could have happened around the new moon, okay? This could be someone that has kids. You closed out some type of cycle. The world is here, especially with somebody that was lying on you and spreading rumors. The world is here. New cycle, new beginning. There is a completion because this drama started. Somebody here was lying saying that you gave them an STD or a sexually transmitted disease or you had a demon attached to you, and that's none of the shit. That's none of the story, Gemini. You don't got none of that. They probably do, though. They in major depression for this. Somebody here lied on your name. Could have even been lying and, and trying to, like, to people in the community so people wouldn't want to be around you. Okay, that is for someone here. 222 two, two is here. You got new beginnings. The power to manifest with God. It's time for you to go with the flow of love. Okay, Aquarius is in your energy. 333 three, three is here. It's time to let you balance out your mind, body, and soul. Okay, a decision needs to be made. W, and this is with this drama starter. Okay, let's jump to that one. Kind of want to see what's this 24 hours about. Well, what can you tell me about the 24 hours, Holy Spirit? What's, what's 24 hours about? This could be within Aries. You could be getting ready to expect communication, okay, because you're solo. So in the next 24 hours, you could be solo or someone's going to try to do some type of money scheme to steal from you, and it's not going to work. Okay, yeah, this is someone that wants you to unblock them, but it seems like you are not. So in, in the next 24 hours, be mindful and look out for blessings from the divine. Be mindful of someone trying to get into your energy to stop the blessings that God is trying to bring in. Okay, this could also be someone that's dealing with a copycat energy, a counterfeit energy. O could be significant. E could be significant. First, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. Somebody here was trying to rectify something in the springtime and it ain't work with you. This fucking devil energy that I'm so sick of seeing, this manipulative energy. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, yo. Yeah, the magic backfired on somebody. You have here on Friday, it will. This could also be a wrap in regards to fake family members, friends, fake family. You got fake family members, or somebody has fake family members, and God ain't, God is not pleased with that. Okay, I'm just being real. Yeah, somebody here has been waiting on trying to do something. They got childhood trauma. This could be because of their mother. Okay, or someone got their mother involved, somebody here. And I said that too. 
Okay, literally, yeah, this is not someone that's an earth angel. It came out in the reverse. Somebody here, mm -mm. <laughs> and that's why strength is required. Spirit is like somebody here could be trying to act like you or they could be trying to replicate your energy or act like they have a healing energy just like you, Gemini, and they are none of the sort. They not they none of the sort. You are that, though. But that person is absolutely not, okay? Absolutely not. Let's get the advice. What's the advice for Gemini? Oh, let's do one more. Let's do this one. What else does Gemini need to know? Somebody is a female that wants to fight you. It's that karmic energy that wants to argue with you, fight with you. Okay, this is someone that don't got no type of facts on you at all. They talk shit. They make shit up. Okay, because they got a bad reputation. They ain't got nothing better to do. Somebody here can smoke and they hooked on you. So you got a female. If you a female, you got a female that's hating on you that wants to be like you. Every, that wants to be you. That's watching you. Okay, if, you, if you're a male, you got a male that wants to be like you that's watching you. Okay, and these are people that don't have no type of facts. All they could do is stalk and talk shit. Okay, yeah, and you're ignoring this obsessive lover. Well, you need to continue to ignore this karmic individual. This person is karmic. Okay, they're dangerously toxic. They're unhealthy. They're possessive. Okay, and they're going to be trying to use their last, like, few games that they have to play. Scarcity tactics. They don't know what else to do to get you to, like, notice them. This is someone that's creeping. They're watching you. They're trying to hide that they're watching you on fake social media. They're researching you. They listen in the karmic friends. I was that best friend. Somebody here got karmic friends that they can't even trust. These are enemies and they can't. Okay, literally. Somebody got a Judas and they can't, an enemy and they can't. A few of them. Or you couldn't. You need to be mindful of this this enemy. Okay, but I'm picking up on somebody listening to their karmic friends to choose a karmic and now they crying over you watching you to see what you have going on here but that was their choice yeah impersonator somebody who tried to impersonate you they wanted to be like you it was goofy <laughs> oh my goodness this is someone here that they had a love affair with they could have had a sex addiction they could have went towards somebody that wanted to be like you and now they got all these legal issues because of that spirit said okay cool you're gonna go down this path because somebody's throwing some poom poom or some ass at you or some dingling at you it's it's you you that flighty and you that low vibrational and you, you don't have that much self-control to just go ahead and do that all right cool i'm about to sit your ass down in regards to legal shit 32 32 on the time as i said this yeah somebody here also was trying to affect your creativity they wanted to steal from you in different ways which is why spirit is saying whatever you are working on move in silence don't let people know what you have going on because they're trying to take it okay they also see that you are running in a different direction or you need to yeah, be mindful of this devil energy that wants to force its way inside of your life because it's on the same shit in different day. Whoever this is has not changed. Exactly where you left them before is exactly where they still at. That same energy, that same aura, that same place. Somebody just is full of drama. They're not going to amount to nothing. Yeah, this is also someone that could have been trying to dig up dirt on you and they can't find nothing. Okay, and they realize that you are not accepting no dirty offer because it came out in the reverse. Somebody here is trying to marry you for money. Or this is an individual that will marry somebody for money. They want you to give them money. This is wild. This person could also have kids and they're about to go through some type of situation with their children. Okay. Somebody here could have reported something. There could be neglect or abuse taking place. And I said that too with that King of Cups. I'm about to get off of this. Oh my God. Because I said somebody is like, they not right in the head. Children are so, children are innocent. They come from God. They fucking angels. Like, children are innocent. Innocence in human form. How fucking dare you? Like, I, I don't want to channel on that. <laughs> We're going to move forward. I said it earlier because I saw it. It showed itself. But the fact that it just, no. Nah. Okay? Just, just know that somebody's on the same shit. Okay? They have not changed. God is about to, t like, literally sit this person the fuck down. Okay? And somebody here has a lot of bad habits. They do drugs, addictions, toxic shit, and they are wolf in sheep's clothing. They cannot be trusted. They cannot be trusted. Somebody here will try to snake you, okay? They're also going to try to come in with an offer, but this is to cock block you. This wolf in sheep's clothing, it's to cock block you. This, somebody's going to make it seem like it's a, a clean offer. It's not. It's not. They're going to make it seem like they don't do the same thing. They, it's not. It's a lie. It's a whole lie in these streets. Be mindful of this, okay? I picked up that card by mistake. Be mindful of this person. You could also be getting ready to move or somebody's about to be moved out of your life, Gemini. Okay. What's the advice? Advice for Gemini, Summer, Rising, Venus, and North North. Okay, I trust the universe is always 10 steps ahead of me. And you also have here, I do not feel guilty for letting go of what no longer serves me. Don't you feel guilty, Gemini? 
Because it's what's, it's what's holding you back from major blessings in your life. These two individuals, these people, these energies, these whoever these people are that are very, very, very dark and wicked. Spirit is moving you away towards complete happiness, towards wish fulfillment, towards everything you want plus more. There's nothing on the front and there's nothing on the back. So that is the advice. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I will be seeing you on the next video.